Hello everyone, I am Rakesh and welcome back to my channel Code Stream Tech, making learning easy. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn Pega and hit that bell icon to get the latest notifications. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram and the link is available in the below description. So also I am going to provide blog related to this video and you will find its link in the description. If you are looking for a complete Pega developer training where you can learn the things right from the basics till advanced then you can join my course and you will find its link in the description. So guys today we are going to talk about the latest updates in Pega 24.2. So recently Pega has introduced some updates in 24.2 and we are going to have a look at some of the important updates in it. So let's get started. So guys Pega has recently launched Pega platform 24.2 and along with they have introduced a lot of new changes to the product. In this video we will see some of the major changes in Pega 24.2. The first point is Pega platform no longer supports Java 8 and Java 11. To upgrade or install Pega 24.2 you will need to have Java 17. The next point is removal of embedded Elasticsearch, Kafka and Cassandra. So Pega will no longer provide these third party services. So you will need to externalize these services. For now Hazelcast will be supported in Pega 24.2 but it will no longer be supported in Pega 25. The next point is auto generated insights on case type creation. So for that let me go and launch my community edition. So I have logged into community.pega.com. Let's go to training view academy. Now let's go to get started. Pega platform community edition. So in the last video we have already created the community edition if you haven't created any you can simply click over here and register for community edition and in some time your community edition will be ready. If you already have community edition then you can expand this option and here you will get a link for my trials. You can open that. Okay, you will find at the moment the community edition is offline and you need to click on wake up instance. Just click on it and wait for some time. So once your community edition is ready, you should get this ready icon over here. After that, you can click on this to simply launch your application. So here we are. I have created one test application just to showcase some of the new features in Pega 24.2. So from here let me click on preview. So within this application I have my case type and with that case type I have got a new auto generated insight for case type rule. So let's see that. So as you can see this insight shows you the cases which has been created. And not only this but from here you can add a new entry to this table. It means it will create a new case. And not only that but you can go here go to actions and click on edit details to edit your case data like this. So you can simply update the data and click submit to update that. And your data will be updated for that particular case. You can click on add button and it will ask you these details. You can simply click on fill form with AI. And simply click next. Advance this case. And now as you can see a new case has been created. Again you can go back to the inside 
which has been created and you will find a new case added to this table so here we have seen two points one is insight and crud operations with the insights and now the next option which we are going to talk about is enhancements in the library so for that let me click on exit preview and here let's click on library So now if you click on this create new option here you will find a few more rule types for example correspondence after that process and user actions. So you can create these options and not only create but you can update these rules here only. So let me click on cancel at the moment I have created a few rules and for that let's go to business logic. And here you will find all the rules which has been created. So I have created this test DT and let's say if I want to update this I can simply click over here and I can add my steps. Let me add a comment over here. And after that I can simply save my changes. So at the moment my rule set is locked and that's why you are not able to see any option to save the changes but in your case it will be available let me go back so not only this dt but you can update the other rules as well now let's move on to the next point that is gen ai rule connect so if you know the gen ai functionality works with the help of connector so basically whatever things we request pega prepares a statement and it will be passed to the gen ai provider and at the end we will get the result so pega parses that result and does the respective actions like creating the case type adding stages and steps to it and many more things so now gen ai can be unit tested and for this within a tracer we have got a separate setting to trace the gen ai related rules with which we can trace gen ai connector and coach related roles so let's go to dev studio now from here let's click on tracer let's click on settings and if you look at this here you will find this option gen ai which will help you to trace gen ai related rules let's close this let's go back now the next option which we are going to talk about is constellation pal tool so let's click on preview again so this is the ui and here if you click on this icon you will find this pal profiler so it works in the same fashion just like our pal tool and now it's available with constellation as well so this is a constellation pal tool so you can perform some actions and you can click on add readings and those respective readings will be added over here and you can look at the different numbers like how much amount of time it took for rule assembly how much amount of time it took for input output and how much amount of time it took for integration related rules now let's close this now the next important point which we are going to talk about is workspaces now consider a situation where you are working on a case type and you want to experiment something and you don't want to affect any other developers work so to solve this problem pega has introduced workspaces and before you start working on workspaces you first need to enable it so first of all what you can do is you can lock all your rule set versions after that you can go to dev studio and for that you need to go to configure system release and here you will find this option toggles so within this toggles you need to look for enable workspace 
so you can search for this toggle and you can edit it and you can turn it on so I have already enabled it and you can simply enable this option and submit it so now you are ready to use workspace if I go back to app studio here you will find this icon workspace which is a toggle workspace development if you click over here you will find your workspace so at the moment I did some changes to my case type and it appeared over here it's as simple as that and once you are done with the changes you can share your changes to a branch and from the branch you can share your changes to a particular rule set version so not only case type but let's say if you are working on a flow from here let's say let's go to case type and I'm here in my case type test one so here you will find I did some changes over here information collection flow now let me do some changes to this flow initial review I'll add a step let's say step E collect information I'll mention at E I'll save it and now let me refresh my workspace and you will find uh, case type is already available over here in this list and you will find this initial review flow as well because we made some changes to that flow and this is the final result so like this your changes will be only visible to you it will not be visible to others until and unless you share those results so let's click on share changes and here you need to select your branch you can submit it and we are done so at the moment our workspace got blank because the changes has been moved to the branch so we can close this now let's go to dev studio and let's go to our application and here let's open the branch and you should find all the rules within this branch now when you are done with your thorough testing you can move it to a particular rule set version that's how it works now let's move on to the next point that is gen ai blueprint for that let's go back to app studio let's go to the overview page so import blueprint option was already provided but now you will find export as blueprint is available so I'm not going to showcase anything on blueprint in this video so there will be a separate dedicated video on blueprint where we will see all the points related to blueprint so just I wanted to showcase these options to you so we have import and export blueprint option as well so export blueprint means let's say you have created one application and if you want its blueprint you can simply take it out so these are some of the major updates in pega 24.2 apart from this pega has introduced a lot of new features that is new content security policy for constellation ui also pega has introduced dynamic labels hierarchical forms where you can have your data or inputs in different tabs we have constellation search and select option map and location widgets so within table we have options to aggregate tables for example we can have sum or average of the data we have toast messages available and on top of it pega has provided some actions which we can utilize to create new object or cases so guys this is all about today's video 
In this video, we have just talked about some of the 10 changes in Pega 24.2. Apart from this, Pega has introduced a lot of new changes. Like you can see, they have introduced dynamic labels. They have introduced hierarchical forms, which shows the details or which will help you to take the inputs in the forms. It has introduced constellation search and select options. It has introduced map and location widgets, aggregate functions in the table, those messages and many more. I will leave its source documentation in the description where you can have a look at all the changes. So this is all about today's video. If you want me to make video on any topic then please add your comments in the description box. Thanks for watching this video. Stay healthy, stay safe, have a nice day.